I'm Henry LaPierre, I go by Pete. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Chemistry and Biochemistry. My favorite element is terbium. Mm -hmm. It's uh, considered a rare earth element, uh, but it's far from rare. And terbium is a middle lanthanide element, so they've been relatively uh, less explored. But uh, terbium itself, due to its physical properties, has been deeply integrated into commercial uh, technologies. So mm -hmm. it's actually around us in many different technologies. It's fluorescent lighting, so in this room, uh, if we have a contemporary uh, uh, of lighting technology is only terbium in that system. For uh, some of us, we'll remember CRT televisions, the old projection types. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you saw the, uh, may have seen the europium favorite element. Yeah. Uh, so that was the red part of a, of a CRT, terbium is the green part. That green uh, phosphorescence uh, leads to applications in many parts of uh, biology, actually, in terms of cell stains and tracking uh, different uh, biochemical systems. It also has a very unusual property used in uh, what are called magneto restrictive devices. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and Ending being used in actuators and in sonar, so it is a deeply ingrained in military technologies as well. It is a uh, window into understanding the structure of the periodic table uh, by modulating uh, uh, its isolation procedures and uh, its coordination environment, we can understand more clearly how uh, valence electronic structure changes across the periodic table uh, and develop new building blocks for design of uh, uh, materials for technical applications. Okay.